All right, we've made great progress so far. We've got all of our basic HTML elements down. We have uh, images, we've got links, we've got comments, we've got even on-page links. Now let's learn how to create a folder structure and reference images and pages within a folder structure. So over here, uh, you see we've got our two pages in our image. In an actual website, this list is gonna grow exponentially. Uh, we're gonna have a massive number of files and we don't wanna just keep everything in a flat list like this because it's just too difficult to uh, to find things and it's not very organized. So what we're gonna do is create a new folder. I'm just gonna right click right here and go to new folder or with one of these files selected, click this new folder button. And let's make one folder for images and we'll keep all obviously images in there. So I'm gonna click and drag Homer and put it here in the images folder. So now you can see the arrow points down, this file's out here, It this Homer's clearly in images. So it's a lot like uh, Mac Finder or Windows Explorer, uh, this view right here of files within folders. Next, let's make another folder and let's call this one content. And we're going to put any page that's not the home page in that content folder. So if I collapse these, the main website root folder or the main parent folder, you're going to have one file and two folders in it. So then within each of these, Homer is a child element of images and resume is a child element of content. Okay. So what's going to happen now, if you go back to your actual web page and click refresh, first you're going to see file not found. Why? Well, look at your address here. Before, this was our main website root folder, YouTube demo, web demo, and then resume.html was directly inside that folder. Well, it's not anymore, right? Because we put it inside content. So let's close this one, come back to uh, Finder or Explorer, go in and see. Now here's this content images folder that we just made from over here. Click on content, double click resume. Now, uh, there's a couple things. First, we see here in the URL, it's going inside the content folder to show us resume. But also, what's missing? Right here, it tells us, because we use the alt attribute, our image of Homer Simpson. Okay, so why did that happen? Well, let's look back here at the code. Okay, so here we're on resume. Come down to, here it is, here's the image. Let me add a little bit of space here. And it says the source for this image is homer.png. Well, remember when we put this uh, name here, I said that homer.png and resume.html have to be sibling elements. They have to be in the same folder in order for this to work. Well, we can still make it work, but what we need to do is tell this page resume to go out of the content folder back to the main website route. Then it can see the images folder. We need to go back inside of images and go back to Homer. All right, well, that's kind of complicated. Let's try something a little bit easier first. Let's go to our uh, index.html page, and I'm going to go back here to Finder, double-click index.html. Okay, here it is. So I click on Resume, and it says your file was not found. Let's start by fixing this problem. So we can fix this pretty easily. Here on Index, we're telling it to look for resume.html as though resume.html was in the same folder, but it's not, right? It's in the content folder. Content is a sibling to index.html. They're at the same level because they're both directly inside YouTube demo. Even though they're different things, these are folders and this is a file, they're still siblings. So what we need to tell index to do is to first go inside the content folder and then find contents child resume.html. So if it can see, if uh, files can see siblings, then we need to start by typing the name of the folder, then a forward slash. So the, this says, look for a folder called content. This says, whoops, didn't mean to do that. This forward slash says, go inside that folder. And then this says, look for the file called resume.html. So let's save that. Let's go back to our, uh, oh, not this one. I want to go to our index page. Now we're still on this file not found resume. So hit the back button. Okay. Let's refresh this home page now because we changed the link for resume. So we saved it. Let's refresh it by hitting enter there or this. Now let's click the resume button. Okay, great. That works. So it knew now to go inside of content slash resume. All right, now we need to make our link back homework because this still isn't working. Uh, resume still thinks that home page index is a sibling to it. So it looked inside the content folder for index.html. Hit the back button. And let me show you what I mean. So here on resume, 
it's looking for index.html as though it's in the same folder here in content, but it's not. It's in, it's actually a sibling. It's an uncle or an aunt here of resume. I have to go back to the parent. Uh, the parent level is content and I have to find a sibling of content. So uh, to do that, it's pretty easy. Oops, there we go. Dot, dot, slash. Dot, dot, slash says go back to the parent. So it's always two dots, one slash. And then once it's at the parent level, content, it can see it's the sibling of content index.html. So dot, dot, slash, go to content, look for a sibling index.html. Let's save that. That should work. I'm going to leave it here on this page, refresh, and now click home. All right, cool. It went out of the content folder back to the main website root folder and found index.html. So our links now, resume, home, these both work again. All right, let's get uh, the image working now. Now that you've seen how to go out a folder and into a folder, let's see if you can figure this one out on your own. So I'm on resume.html. Come here to the image, pause the video, and see if on your own you can figure out how to tell it to find homer.png, which is right here. Remember, we're here on resume. We've got to go out to the sibling images, then inside to Homer. Okay, let's do it. So first of all, this link, we call this a relative link because the, the path we're putting in here is relative to the location of the file resume.html that possesses the link. So if we were to move resume.html, this link would break and it would change relative to that location. Anyway, so let's start. We're here we are at resume. We gotta go out to the content folder. So dot dot slash. Now at the content folder, we can see its sibling, the images folder, images slash. That slash says then go inside images and look for homer.png. So that should do it right there. Save, refresh, come back, refresh this page. There's Homer once again. Notice our on-page links didn't break because these are all on the same page. Um, so it's irrelevant to this whole relative reference issue. Cool, so we've got um, a folder structure now. And from here on out, we're gonna put every HTML page inside this content folder. Um, let's go ahead and stop this one here and uh, move on to the next one.